our life purpose and think that it's a job title. And it isn't really. It's really who we are in the world and how we show up in the world and how we make decisions and really following our own passions, our own interests, which I don't think a lot of people actually do ask that question. Now, when I, I could remember being in the first grade and some of my some of my passions were I wanted to be a truck driver, I wanted right. to do this, I wanted to be a policeman, a fireman. Right. right. What, is it, was it the job description or the title, or was there a certain passion, or was there something that I was looking at within the job that I was attracted well, to? Well, what I'm hearing you say is a certain pattern, the pattern of what was the common element there between the policeman and the fire. You, you wanted something heroic. You liked a challenge, and maybe you still like a challenge, but you're not so physically oriented now. Okay. But the challenge part is probably the key element there that goes through all of the different jobs that you were thinking of. Okay, if that's the case... Then what are some of the questions we should be asking ourselves to find out who we are? Well, then, what is my passion? And I hear this a lot in my classes. People don't know what their passion is. So in the book, I'm talking a lot of, uh, about self-analysis to see, okay, what do people say about you? What do you think about when you were a child? I have my assistant at home. I was doing an exercise with her for my book. We were getting some research. And I, in talking with her, I said, well, what do people what do people normally say when you're working with them? And she says, oh, you know, they say I'm so calming. I have a calming effect on them. And since then, we've laughed about this, but I said, my God, that's exactly what you do to me. You are a very calming presence. And a lot of her life purpose is tied up in working one-on-one -on -one with people. So it's what she does. It's who she is. And she can apply that calming aspect, you know, to any kind of job, whatever would interest her. So it's not just specific to the job. It's more a quality or a characteristic that she has. Now, is it a chicken and egg type of thing? I've talked to people who said that I've known I wanted to be a doctor all my life or right. I've known I wanted to be a certain occupation my entire life. Right. Is it is a calling to that specific job or, do, or does that job find that person, do you think? I think it's both, really. But see, in, in the book I talk about the idea that I believe we're born with our purpose. Most people make the mistake of thinking the purpose is outside themselves. They have to find it. They have to find the right job. What's the hot job market and so forth? They're looking outside. I believe it's inside, and it's showing you and helping to attract you everything that you need. And I also believe that there are no accidents. So everyone that you meet has some piece of the puzzle for you. If you take the time to, you know, chat with them or find out what they're about, you have a, a discussion going. So. The synchronicity, the coincidence of having events come into your life, I believe they come into your life at the right time when you need a piece of information or you need the next door to open. So what I understand you're saying is, I mean, you mentioned synchronicity. Is it that it is more of a happy accident than that we do find our, our callings or our, our special purpose for our job, would you say? Well, it's it's both ways. Now, I was, I was telling you, when I, I came here on the plane, I, I ran into this great woman who's a researcher in Berkeley in a very interesting work, and she never expected to. She was first born in China, first born daughter. By rights, she probably shouldn't even be here by now, but she through a series of coincidences, she told me this story and how she got to be where she is now. And she's doing highly specialized work. She thought she was going to be an engineer. Now she's working more in cell development. It was so interesting because it was really because her husband was out jogging. He ran into somebody who knew somebody whose wife worked at the lab. And that's how she got this job. And she, she told me she feels very guided. Now, that's a good, exp a good example of listening to your inner intuition, noticing what life is giving you, and then following through on the opportunities. Okay. Now, you mentioned several different items there. And They're I want to get into all of them. Right. And we'll do so after this next break. Stay with us. If you or someone you love needs an artificial limb or brace, shouldn't it enhance ability? Since 1975, the Ortho Remedy has been helping people reach maximum potential. All prosthetic limbs and braces are created in our state-of-the-art lab, providing superior equipment in as little as 48 hours. We coordinate treatment with your physician and insurance company to avoid frustration and restore your confidence. The Ortho Remedy makes you comfortable with your physical challenge. Step ahead and call today for a free evaluation. just joining us we're discussing the purpose of your life do you know what your special purpose is well the author of the book carol adrian is going to help us out a little bit and you have a little story 
you want to share with us right now? Well, right. One of my favorite stories in the book is a man who, whose father told him early in life that if he wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth, he was going to have to work every day of his life, and he was going to have to work for someone else. And I think we often get early messages like that that clamp down on our, our ambitions and what we can expect out of life. So we get, you know, limited early in life by these beliefs, and we don't try. So we have to really open up to the idea that we do have a purpose inside ourselves. It is going to come out, and it is going to bring into our lives the opportunities that we need to fulfill it. Now, is that a case of where you're, fill, you're fulfilling someone else's uh, uh, special purpose, maybe instead of your own? Looking, you're not looking within yourself. For what yeah, you if you're do. not looking within yourself, right? You listen to what other people say, and you listen to what the hot job market is, and you go down a direction that may not suit you because you never really ask the question. And sometimes I think we don't ask those questions until something happens, like divorce or bankruptcy or a health problem, and then all of a sudden we're thinking. What is the meaning of my life? Is this all there is? Is that when the blinders come off or is that when we, we truly I think say? so. I think so. I think if everything is going along fairly well for a while, you know, you may just, you, you may be fine. But at, at some point in life you wake up and you want to know what has more meaning to me. And then you begin to see who am I really and what do I have that's special. And I believe everybody has something special in them to offer. And that we need everybody in this world to put in their best efforts and you know because everyone has show a special, up because everyone has a special purpose right everyone does everyone does okay, but it isn't necessarily a job it's being in the world in a certain way or fulfilling a certain development that you're doing or giving people love or nurturing you know maybe you're the person who always opens people up and gets them talking about themselves that's your purpose in life in some way okay you found me out that's yeah. why i'm here <laughs> you're here <laughs> Uh, let's talk a little bit about uncommon sense. You, met, mm -hmm. you mentioned uncommon sense in the book. Right. Is this right. something that we're born with? Is this that all of us yeah. have? In it? Well, I believe that we have to look for the purpose in everything. And so sometimes what looks obvious on the outside is not the obvious thing. Again, I was on the plane coming here to New York, and I, ran, I was sitting next to a woman who told me she and her husband both lost their job in the same week, and they thought they were done for. As it turned out, it was great because for the first time they really looked at the retirement package it was terrible where they used to now they have better retirement they remodeled their home they have more time with their family so it all worked out for the best but at the beginning it looked oh no this is terrible but they looked for the deeper meaning and she has a lot of uh, patience and trust and uh, she told me she she really believes she has a guardian angel and i think a lot of times we it would pay us to really imagine that energy and that and that you know, guidance coming to us because we do have an inner wisdom. Is it a matter of shifting our focus so we can see that inner wisdom, not getting, not getting caught up in the day-to-day -day actions of right, life? Right, right. I do think it's important to take some time alone or just quiet time each day. And one of the things I talk about in the book is a great meditation I learned from my Italian friend. Every morning when you wake up in the morning, you say to yourself, today I want to meet good people. And you will notice, I've had people in my class, I had a woman who wanted to go to Australia, and she, within three weeks of doing this meditation, her company called her up and said, we have, a, we have assignment for you. Do you want to go to Boston, New York, or Australia? And she, she couldn't believe it. Wow, so that. you focus your energy, you put your attention into it, and then life will respond. I think I want to tell myself now, today I want to meet good people in Hawaii for about two weeks. Maybe it may or may not come hey. through, you never know. Hey, it's up to you. Okay, Carol, now the book, once again, is The Purpose of Your Life. We can find it at great bookstores everywhere. everywhere. And we can also find it on the web if you don't want to leave your house and you don't want to meet people. But you should get out and meet people. Uh, it's also on uh, Amazon.com, www.amazon.com. And Carol Adrian. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking time Thank with us today. You. Thank you. It was fun. Okay. There's more on the way. Please stay with us.